Right, let's have a look at this question then. Keep going. So this question is, I believe, acceleration class, extensive challenge. I have to uh, move it down a little bit, or a little bit to the left. Okay, acceleration class, oh, sorry, extensive challenge number one. And the mastery class, basic exercise, question number nine. So six people can sit around one table, 10 people can sit around two tables. Question number one, how many people can sit around three tables? Draw a picture to show how many. So it's easy, we can draw three tables connected with each other. So we'll, there will definitely be no people sitting in between the gaps, right? That will be impossible. So one at both ends and then two on top and bottom. So we just need to count. One, oh, sorry, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So, fourteen people can sit around three tables. And then question number two: fill fill in the boxes to find the formula. So the number of seats equals to what times the number of tables plus what? So when we have one table, we will have six seats. We will need six seats. When we have two tables, we'll need 10 seats okay and then when we have three tables we'll need 14 seats okay so again this is actually just asking us to find the general general formula over here so remember the three steps the first step is we determine the we identify the common difference which is four and then the second step write n after a common difference generate the new sequence four n sequence which is four eight 12, etc. And then the third step is compare what we have over here and what we actually, the, the actual sequence, which is 6, 10, and 14. So we find that for each term, we would like to be two more to get the um, target sequence. So it'll, the general term will, will therefore be 4n plus 2. Yeah, because 4 plus 2 is 6, 8 plus 2 is 10, 12 plus 2 is 14. So the general term is 4, 4 n plus 2. And the n is basically just the number of tables. Yeah, the n is equivalent to the tables over here. So it's basically just four times the tables plus two, which makes sense, right? Because you see, so there's two on top and two on bottom. So for, for uh, the number of tables, there will be four fixed seats that's needed. Okay, and at last we plus the two on both sides. That's another way to understand this question. Right, and then the last question, question number 13. How many people can sit around 15 tables? Let me clear up some space over here. So the table number is 15. So we just plug it into the, the formula. The seats equals to four times tables plus two, and it gives us the correct answer immediately. So the seats equals to four times 15 plus two, which is 62. So 62 people can sit around 15 tables.